bitches out there, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Um, so it's, it's been a minute. Um, you're probably wondering, Sam, where have you been for the last month? Month and a half. And it's, it's very simple. Uh, things got very busy, very chaotic, and I'm still very pregnant. So things just happened and so we'll go into all of that. Um, first things first is we are officially in our new apartment, our new condo. Um, it's, it's a slow process getting it together, mostly because I'm very much, if you know me in person, I'm very much like I am unpacked, I'm ready to go with within three days of moving. Um, and this has been a very slow process, which is new for me, but there, between exhaustion, not being able to move certain things, it's just taken its time. And it's still not all together the way I want it to, uh, but it is a slow process. We don't have any pictures up or anything like that, so that also kind of changes my uh, perspective on things, because I feel like you never really feel like you're home until you have you know your pictures up and, and that sort of thing so we have a lot of these high walls <laughs> um, with nothing on it so it comes off very not bare but not as homey as I would like it to be but that will change hopefully soon uh, we bought a stud finder the other day so hopefully we can start putting up some pictures that would be nice yeah, so we've moved in here. We moved in here on the first and then immediately after we kind of moved in, put some things away, we started planning our wedding. <laughs> so as some of you know, I was supposed to get married last year um, in April and because of COVID, two weeks before our wedding, everything shut down and we were no longer allowed to have our wedding, which was very stressful because again, we were only two weeks <laughs> away. Um, so things changed, we had to wait. We decided that what was right for us is that we wanted to have a small um, COVID procedure approved wedding. <laughs> Uh, which let us have 10 people and so we picked um, a park that was very close to us. We had been there on a few dates, uh, some of our first couple of dates and they were great so that park had a lot of meaning to us plus we didn't need a permit to be there which also made it great. <laughs> Um, so we picked that park, we picked a really nice area, and we got married with um, our immediate families there. So that was really nice, and because it was just us, we could actually have it on our anniversary date, which also made it special, um, considering we couldn't have all the bells and whistles that we wanted it to, so just little things like that, something that we could look back on and, and enjoy, so that was good. <laughs> we did get the ceremony on video, but I haven't looked at it yet, actually. <laughs> I haven't watched the video, and it's been, I think, almost a month? Yeah, it's been almost a month, so I haven't looked at it yet, so I don't know what the quality is. Maybe I'll post it, maybe I won't. Um, I want to make sure Chris is okay with it and all that kind of stuff, so we'll see on that one. But in the meantime, I can show you um, just a few pictures that was taken by a friend of ours, so here you go. Yeah, so there's that. and. As a lot of you know, I am also pregnant. It is middle of May. I am currently, nope, tomorrow I'm gonna be 35. 35 weeks pregnant. That is a lot. <laughs> so because of my health issues, because of everything else, I've been closely monitored and I go to a lot of doctor's appointments. <laughs> One of the things I was diagnosed with is gestational diabetes. 
which is not fun. Um, for those of you who don't know, it basically means I have diabetes while I'm pregnant, and for the most part, it should go away after I give birth, um, but there is a small chance it could develop into actual diabetes. So I'm doing my best to try and stay within the guidelines, although they have moved me to insulin now, um, as well as trying to just monitor my food and all that kind of stuff. I'm constantly going in for ultrasounds and checkups and that sort of thing, just making sure that my blood pressure and all of that is in order. Um, my last ultrasound is on the 28th, um, so that should be... <laughs> It should be a very emotional one because it will be ideally the last time I will see my baby before she comes out. Yeah, so with all this talk about baby stuff, we've been trying to get the baby's room in order, um, but that's also coming along very slow. Um, just because we wanted to wait for certain things because of a baby shower that my sister wants to plan for me, um, it is going to be a very socially distanced um, event where people are just going to drive by and give gifts if they want to or give cards or just see me before I pop kind of thing. Um, so it's going to be again at a nearby park. Um, so we're pretty excited um, about that. But it also means that a few people have expressed what they want to give as gifts which means there's a lot of things that we can't purchase until we find out what we actually have. That is what we're doing in the next couple of weeks, actually. So that should be fun. <laughs> so I'm not a super professional vlogger or YouTuber, so there are a lot of things that I missed, I didn't capture. Some things I thought about capturing and then decided that, you know what, I just wanted to live in the moment and just enjoy um, what was happening, like my wedding. I didn't vlog or film a lot of stuff on my wedding day. Um, my friend took a bunch of pictures and then had set up a tripod for the actual ceremony, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, I haven't been vlogging my progress with the baby. It's been a very hard and stressful um, time. Um, I know people say, oh, you know, pregnancy is a wonderful thing. And yes, it absolutely is. And I definitely love being able to feel her um, wiggling around in there. That's one of my favorite parts is just being able to um, feel her kick and, and wiggle around and get in the hiccups. That stuff's amazing. Um, but it is really hard, um, especially when you feel like you weren't in the greatest of health um, to start with. <laughs> Um, so it just means that, you know, there are certain things that I don't have access to that would be very helpful, but due to COVID or some other restrictions, we're unable to do. Um, like water walking, I do not have access to a pool <laughs> um, or even a community pool or anything like that, um, which would help uh, take a lot of pressure off my back and my pelvis um, while trying to get in my daily exercise. So. Um, I do the best I can with my daily exercise, but uh, it's very painful, uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, she is head down, so it constantly feels like there's like a bowling ball <laughs> between your legs or something, or your hips are being spread out, um, which I know is a thing that happens, um, but it's definitely something different to experience it. Um, so to actually feel it happening and, you know, it's hard. <laughs> you know, you constantly get weird aches and pains and then you're like, okay, is this, you know, a bad pain? Is this a normal pain? Is it a good pain? It's constantly questioning everything that's happening to your body. You know, even putting pants on <laughs> is an ordeal. You can't really lift your leg up um, just between the hip, the leg pain, your you know, pelvis pain. So, and then, you know, just little things that they say you're gonna get and you're like, no, 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 I'm not gonna get that, it's fine. Like things like being clumsy. I, I'm not a very clumsy person, um, 
but I'm definitely becoming more clumsy um, the more pregnant I got. Definitely baby brain. I <laughs> forget a lot of things. Um, I am constantly going, um, um, things that were no problem for me before are now like pulling teeth. <laughs> so there is definitely, there's definitely a lot. And just overall, you just get exhausted so fast. You're like, how can I be exhausted? I've literally done nothing all day. So you get hard on yourself, but you have to remember that you're not doing nothing. You're creating a person. Whether you can see the progress or not, it's happening. <laughs> So that's definitely um, something that I've had to get used to. So yeah, it's just a lot. So I just wanted to give you guys an update of what's happening with me and why I've been gone for so long. Um, because we have moved to a new place as well, we don't have the same kind of floor plan that we had before. So before, Chris and I had a second bedroom where both of our computers were and they were set up nicely, um, but that's not a possibility anymore. Our second bedroom is obviously for baby um, and Chris has a bigger setup and it's more important to him. Me on the other hand, apart from doing this, the occasional videos, um, and all that kind of stuff, I don't need a super fancy setup. So the only other place that we could set up my computer um, is out in the living room attached to the TV. So it's a little harder to edit and put videos together. It's a lot of fumbling around and trying to figure it out. So I'm hoping I can get back into some sort of rhythm, but I also know that once she comes, <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be a whole other thing and there probably won't be videos coming out, but eventually, ideally, I will come back um, and just post videos that I like or that sort of thing. I do have some pre-made videos that I did before I moved um, that I just haven't uploaded. They're just sitting there <laughs> that I really should just put up. So in the next little bit, you'll definitely see some of those videos. Um, and you'll be like, hey, she doesn't live there anymore. And you're right, I don't. Uh, but these are, these are what's there. So yeah, so there's that. Ideally, I will be doing a full house tour once I've gotten things a little bit more in order. We still have a lot of boxes and stuff in the corner there that we need to take to a thrift shop that we are no longer going to be using. So ideally, I will have a house tour with all of our stuff in it once I get maybe just a couple of pictures up and it starts to feel a bit more like my house. So look forward to that. So I had a doctor's appointment yesterday um, and they did tell me that due to just all the other stuff that's going on, they do want to induce me. That being said, they want to induce me two weeks before my due date, which means she could be coming a lot sooner than I think. That it's, it's not far away um, from, what we're, from what we're working with, but she's got her own agenda. She's already been a handful for several doctors. She's a very active, moving baby. Um, and then the minute you take her to fetal monitoring where they literally want to hear and see her move, she will go to sleep. She will be as still as possible. And I have to be the one to be like, no, I promise she moves all the time. I don't know why now is the time that she wants to be still. So it's quite funny to everybody else but me. <laughs> because <laughs> they all think I'm lying when I tell them how active she is. So eventually I want to get one of those alien baby videos where you can see her hand go across my stomach. Uh, anyway, as of now, I feel like I also don't have any energy, but I wanted to give you guys an update. So hopefully I come off a little on the perky side. <laughs> So I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to sign off for now, um, but I hopefully will have uh, some videos for you guys. If not, I thank you so much for your understanding um, in this time. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe if you want to uh, get more updates and 
I will see you guys soon. Bye.